A resolution to remove slavery from Utah's constitution takes another step forward. It passed out of the Senate committee unanimously, but with some concern. It's a story we've been following, of course, here at ABC4 from the very beginning. ABC4's Brittany Johnson was at today's hearing and explains the concerns. In today's city committee hearing, Representative Sandra Hollins presented a substitution to House Joint Resolution 8, a proposal to amend Utah's constitution and eliminate an exception to slavery and involuntary servitude as a form of punishment. Representative Holland says changes were made after some senators expressed concerns in regards to how removing the word slavery would impact the state's criminal justice system. As I said, I believe that working should be a part of rehabilitation. Um, and there were also some concerns about the, whether it was going to disrupt the court system and whether um, and, and community service and judges being able to implement community services. Dr. Forrest Crawford, a professor at Weber State University, says removing the phrase makes practical sense. What you're essentially doing is removing a relic of the past and how people have framed their view about what um, uh, you know, or, or what slavery represents. James Evans, former chair of Utah's Republican Party, also spoke on behalf of the resolution. He says removing the verbiage from the Constitution is not a partisan issue. It's a bipartisan issue everyone can agree on. Scott Howell, chair of the Pioneer Park Coalition, agrees. From the business leader's perspective, how can we ever tell the world to come here with their software and their professional sports teams and have that in our Constitution. So from a pure business standpoint, we need to fix that and fix it right. The resolution now goes to the Senate floor for debate. Reporting from the Utah State Capitol, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News. Thank you, Brittany. Well, many lawmakers have told us if this resolution passes and is signed into law, they want Representative Hollins to help lead the way in getting the verbiage removed from the United States Constitution.